Now the final thing we might want to do is obviously change quickly the color of the fingernails just to add some shade to this. So let's go ahead again and use a technique we already know, create ourselves a brand new layer. Let's set the layer blending mode down to color. We still have our paintbrush tool selected. What I'm going to do is just drop its size down a little bit more. Let's maybe go down using the left square bracket tool, to bring it down to about 40 or 50 pixels. And then simply in your color palette, anywhere across the bottom gradient there, go ahead and choose a color. It doesn't matter what color it is, because as soon as you apply it by painting, it's obviously going to tint the image beneath based on those pixels that you paint. Okay, so we're just simply drawing over the top of the layer here. Layer two is applying all the changes beneath it. We now go through and pick a completely different color for every single fingernail. It's very easy to paint those changes on one at a time. So maybe choose more of a purpley red over here. Do the same. Then you'll notice that the fact that even though we hadn't masked out the underside completely correctly, it doesn't matter. The color mode replaces everything that goes on underneath. Makes it very easy to apply global changes simply using layer blending modes. So by painting all of these fingernails back in, we've effectively done a series of color changes all applied through layers. If we go ahead and hide all the three that we created at the end, we've got our original RGB in the background. First thing we did was painted the grayscale. The next thing we did was colorize the sofa and then add the fingernails on all non-destructively, all that can be changed at any time throughout the creation process.